doing high tea challenge is about bringing the tea back into high tea. Today, we careful effort has been made to respect the traditions and etiquettes of high tea. At the same time, we want to have a Kiwi spin on things, on the food, the beverages, and the setting before you. The whole idea of our afternoon tea was to be very classical English, but with a very modern twist. Our theme today is basically a fusion of New Zealand culture, incorporating Dilma teas and the Pacific Islands, what New Zealand is all about. Chef Berndouba has been on this real IT journey from 2007, so I couldn't ask for a better reference judge and of course being a WAC certified judge, he brings that level of professionalism, the standards that WAX has brought to the Real IT challenge in taking it into a global championship. All my five senses were, were turned on, that's what it's all about. It's an art to do that, but yeah, you got there. The Dilma IT challenge came about in 2007. Um, when we want to put back into the high tea, real tea, Dilma has reinvented the whole concept and have brought good tea, the world's best tea, with great varieties um, into the high tea. And to match the tea with the foods and actually have tea-infused food uh, as well. Peter Kurovita, everybody knows Peter. So our goal is to re-establish the, the beauty of tea and also um, the reason for having a high tea. New Zealand was really unique, firstly the setting, we're in a beautiful place and I loved people bringing in the island theme. People were celebrating tapo and different parts of New Zealand so it was a real New Zealand pride really, it was great to see. What we were looking for in, the, in this competition, number one was, was brewing the perfect cup of tea and it's a lot harder than you'd think. There's a lot that goes into it, you need to stir it a few times, you need to make sure you cover it and look after it. Um, but on top of that, the tea needed to be made into a cocktail, a mocktail, and then we needed to have a hot tea and a cold tea. Plus, we needed to have tea infused into food and tea paired with the food. NZ Team 1, your time in the kitchen starts now. I guess we've been concentrating the last two, three weeks, I guess. Well, it's been yeah. going on since we entered the competition, we had ideas. So I guess once we put it onto paper, it's been intense, I guess, for the last two or three weeks. It's the Berry Sensation Jelly Trifle. So I've done a, made a Berry Sensation um, Jelly up, and we've made up a cream, and then um, we've soaked the berries in the, in the tea. Then we've made that, and the whole tea with the berries all soaked into a jelly, which is then layered with our sponge, which is soaked in the tea juice as well and then a cream on the top and some freeze dried berries. We've gone with tradition as well as trying to make it a bit funky. You'll see in a minute when it's all presented how it's got little nuances that are a bit different, but at the end of the day, it is quite traditional. So, no chocolate eclairs, you can't get much more traditional than that, you know? The cucumber sandwiches for a high tea is a pretty traditional thing, so. Welcome to your first high tea of the day. Um, I've got everything ready, I'll bring it out. Clean your ready? Yes. Yep, okay, cool. Yes, <laughs> very much so. <laughs> yeah, polishing silver till <laughs> Polishing silver. Midnight, you know, 1 a.m. in the morning. Affecting those eclairs, all that sort of thing, because it's such a simple thing, you want it to be good. You know, it has to be absolutely perfect. And So obviously, tea's the, the star here. So the Earl Grey, um, with the bergamot orange in it, is a flavour that Glenn and I both liked, and we come together on it and thought we'd do the Earl Grey. And we've done a um, some scones here. They're um, like a cross between a biscuit and a scone. And we've got a shant uh, orange water cream. Um, and the orange water, I think, with the bergamot goes really well. We've made a um, uh, marmalade out of mandarin. So it's a little bit sweeter and a little bit more mild. Some simple chocolate eclairs um, to, to go on there, a little bit of chocolate, you know, it doesn't hurt anyone, it's always good, isn't it? So I thought we'd do that. Um, traditional cucumber sandwiches, but with creme fraiche and chives on there. Um, these are little lamb pies, you're in New Zealand, king of lamb, so I thought we'd do some lamb pies. And that's uh, mint and balsamic sauce, so you squeeze that into it and you eat the pie. And down here, this is the tea inspired infused food. So we've done some pumpernickel bread with um, acarole salmon. Gentlemen, <laughs> well done. Hard to be the first one of, of, yeah. of the rank, and uh, I'm sure you, you feel good about it now that you're, you're, you're done and the others still to come. Um, nice, clean, uh, first good impression, first impression good. Maybe a little bit more of a theme on, uh, on, on the table. Happy with this one. Thanks.
mixed really. I did a lot of mixing. I must have made about 20, 30 different cocktails just because I wanted to get the balance. I really wanted the tea to come out uh, in flavour. So many uh, liqueurs and alcohols will just kill the flavour as soon as you add it. The, the, the cocktail married extremely well with, with a meat pie. That to, to me, it, it did something really, it harmonised beautifully on the palate. And to do with, you know, the, your New, Ze New Zealand uh, meat pie, I think it's great, too, with the infusion on top, it's nice. So I really wanted to do something different. I love the idea of putting banana with tea. I don't think anyone's done that before. It worked for me. I think yeah. it worked for the judges. Again, it was fine for me, but it would have been good uh, for the future just to offer hot water because some uh, guests might not like um, even a properly brewed tea. Generally, when they like it uh, weak, you shouldn't compromise the brewing time. Stay true to that, but uh, offer the hot water on top. Quite funny, actually, when they're giving you the feedback, you're thinking, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. But I think nerves just get you on the day. For me, the scones were warm, the cream was beautiful, the eclair was great. The, the uh, cucumber sandwich was fresh, the cream was nice and soft and luscious. One of, one of um, Bur uh, Burns um, favourite words are lubrication and that certainly had that. The pie was crispy, the meat was nice, the trifle was beautiful, the berry came out of it. Being the first time of doing something like this, it's sort of a big learning curve as well. So. You always better for run. Hindsight's a beautiful thing, isn't it? So. And then yeah. I get a much yeah. bigger appreciation to tea, to be honest. Uh, and with Dilma themselves, but just with tea. You know, all I knew about tea beforehand was the tea that my grandma used to make when I was around there as a little kid. So uh, it sort of brought back a lot of those memories, and, and it's good to be able to, to know a bit more all about it, really. NZ1 Silver. The idea of this real high tea challenge is that it is a journey, a journey in terms of their awareness and understanding of tea, opening up the options. And so in stage one, which we have just completed, I think we can be satisfied that we have really achieved a very high standard of excellence.